Um, so the first question I'm going to ask John today, what would you recommend the best supplement to take care of yourself at this time? If I had to pick just one? Uh, or, no, I no. want you to give uh, like maybe an order. An order? Yeah. Uh, so num number one, uh, pycnogenol, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, we've been talking about that for a little while. A lot of people still don't know about it. It's a virus blocker, but it also affects your blood pressure, your cholesterol, your blood sugar. Um, it, it's one of those supplements that uh, the big thing I keep hearing is quinine and all this stuff in the news and this doctor and that doctor. Uh, pycnogenol probably has the most studies of anything as far as viruses that I've seen, mm -hmm. and especially with uh, COVID-19 attacking the lung the immune system, the heart, blood pressure, di diabetics specifically, uh, pycnogenol would be the most important, I would say. Yeah, from what I read uh, in the book, it said it's uh, 20 times stronger than vitamin C. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's an antioxidant. It's made out of pine needles. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, so there's a ton of research on it on other viruses uh, as well, but Vitamin C, I would, I would probably start at 2,000 milligrams vitamin C. It's a little bit acidic, so just half, half morning and, half. and night, try to work up to three or 4,000 milligrams. I tend to go with time released mm -hmm. because water-soluble vitamins get out of your system quicker. So it's, it's not toxic. You'll pee out what you don't use. Zinc is another really hot one. It's the problem is is you have to use the right amount of zinc. It, yes. You can't just. Some people think, well, I'll just take zinc. Well, well, how much? Uh, I'd say 100 to 200 milligrams. Again, the same way as vitamin C. Half morning, half night. Take 50 milligrams twice a day to start with with food, mm -hmm. and work your way up. Uh, and then the other one is turmeric, which. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. Yeah, I, at it's, all. it's not. People doesn't even know about that. So I'll get real nerdy for a minute, uh -huh. and this, you know, uh, virus causes a lot of inflammation. Mm -hmm. So turmeric blocks what's called cytokine storm, mm -hmm. which is inflammation essentially. Yes, elderberry also. Isn't it? Yeah, elderberry is a great. I, I take it. Yeah, elderberry is a great one also. Uh, so it's a pycnogenol, vitamin C, zinc, elderberry. Very good. I use uh, We're in. Look at us. Ah. also raises. Hello, Coach. How are you? Good. How you doing? Coach, yeah, Look who else is here. We're, we're, hey. How are you? Hey. 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 I'm still doing it, John. We're getting ready, buddy. Oh, my goodness. We're having a party. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hold yeah. this first right here? My wife's going to hold the phone for us, so Which, not to speak. Uh, <laughs> Go hide, John. Go hide. Don't show yourself. <laughs> he's too. He's too big to hide. Too big yeah. to hide. <laughs> yeah. I love it. He was just talking about the turmeric. I've been on that and it's working great. Yeah. I got so that. I got that Go torn rotator and labrum, and that stuff's working great. The doctor joints and all that stuff he told me about is working phenomenal. That's I'm out here lifting weights, getting big again. So it must be working. All right. So. What's going on? Are we going to do some workout today or what are you going to advise us today, coach? Whatever, wherever y'all want from us. So basically we're here for you. Um, uh -huh. Whatever you want us to do, whatever you want us to talk about, just let us know. Give us a question. We'll try to give you the answer. Sure. Hey, John, I think, I think the main thing that we're trying to stress here at Phil's Home Gym, um, you know, of course, a lot of people aren't going to have the, the weights that the gym has. But what we're doing is really light weights, really basic exercises. But I think the thing that we're, we're – really emphasizing is muscle stimulation okay. because we can't grow during this period of downtime. So as long as people are lifting lighter weights, maybe 15 to 20 repetitions, four sets, you're keeping the blood flow, you're keeping the nutrition, the oxygen, the lactic acid, everything that you need. So one thing we're focusing on here with the people, you know, as we do tricep kickbacks with an eight pound dumbbell, just do 25 set, 25 reps. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or whatever you choose to do, whether it be bench press or whatever, keep the weights light and just increase your repetitions for that muscle stimulation for the baseball players. They don't want to get bulky. They don't want to get fat. So that's what we're trying to emphasize, John. Nice. Yes. Yeah. And you can get creative and do some body weight stuff. There's, I mean, you can even get out and walk. I mean, just be active uh, as much as you can. The worst well, thing I, is not be, uh, sit, sit, drink and eat and 
put on all the bad weight. Yeah, I was talking to Jean and I said, we have the time now to do something. We were always complaining. Oh, I didn't have time to do this. I'm busy working or I'm, uh, I have the kids doing something. I don't think there is, you know, no excuse now. I don't think there is an ex- any excuse for anyone to say anything. You can set goals. You can work on them every day and you can just commit and you will find the results. It's just a matter of taking the, the first step and working on it. And that's what we're here for, to let people know. Once you take that first step and you start working and doing, setting a goal, you, yeah. it's a lot easier to, to work on, you know? As long as people don't look at this as a vacation, because once we talked about it before, Mona, when uh-huh. people come back from vacation, they complain that they've gained weight. Yes. Well, when you're on vacation, you take vacation, but this is not a vacation. It's you not. Still have a life, I still have a lifestyle and a regiment to uphold. Yes, yes. And if, and if you look at this 30 days or however long it's going to be, it's just time off. You will gain weight, but it's unwanted weight. So yes. you should be out there walking and lifting. Great time for transformation, for working and doing something good for yourself now. This is the perfect time for someone who's always complained they don't have the time or they're tired. You're not tired. You're not working. You're staying home. <laughs> you just need to set up that, set your goal and work on it. Um, I, I've been uh, reading a lot of jokes on the, uh, the Facebook and the internet. It's like, oh, zero closing, zero gas, zero whatever. And then $5,000 food. I was like, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The right food, yes, but not $5,000 junk food, yeah. you, know? you know? You know, what I've seen is people people are getting kind of, it's like funny, it's like my wife is now working from home and she's like, oh, what am I, you know, so she's actually, I'm so proud of her, she's lifted weights twice in the last week, coming out lifted weights and it's like, you know, it was, it was, we were talking about her earlier, kind of making a joke that she can go get in her car in the morning, sit there for 15 minutes, come inside and work and then when she goes sit in the car for 15 minutes and come home, so she feels like she's left. Yes. So it's really important to exercise somehow right now. And and that's what, you know, you can't, because people's going to sit around and they're going to get depressed just being at home all day. And even my neighborhood, I'm seeing neighbors I never knew I had. People are out one, running around and doing things. And, and, you know, it's really important that you do something. That's why we're doing this podcast every day, teaching something different. Two days a week is baseball specific. Yes. One day is usually a training of baseball and weightlifting, and then the other day is just, and Roger's doing great with teaching just weightlifting stuff. It's so important. The stuff he's teaching, here's a pro-level bodybuilder, one win away from getting a pro card, but he's breaking it down to what people have in their house that, so they can't make an excuse. That's awesome. It's, it's phenomenal. That's you know, and I've talked to some people about walking, too, and when you, when you talk to people about walking, they think they've got to walk a mile, or they've got to walk two miles or five miles. Well, if you, if you haven't walked and walking isn't part of your regiment, your lifestyle, well, set your clock for 10 minutes out and 10 minutes back and do that for about a week and do a 20-minute good walk and mm-hmm. then start stretching it to 30 minutes out and 30 minutes back. That's an hour walk right there. Yes, so yes. There are a lot of people that have never thought of it like that. Man, I got to walk two miles or five miles. I knew a lady that lost over 200 pounds overseas wow. that started walking. She was about five foot three, 260, 270. Oh, wow. And she started walking five minutes out and five minutes back for the first month. And then she started going 10 minutes and 10 minutes. And she was up to five miles a day when I saw her two years later. And she lost over 200 pounds. But you, but you just said it right. It's taking the steps every day. She man- it, and manage and add to it every time. So yeah, it's a new, if it's a new lifestyle, you've got to make baby steps. Yes. You know? And we're here at GNC. We really offer, you know, we have John. He's very great. He knows his supplement. And if somebody wants some motivation, like some pre-workout, something to help them with hydration or protein just to take it after workout, we are really fully stocked. And we have people to give you the knowledge and the information to you. Absolutely. Can use and what time you can use it and how many times a day you can use. It's really that's the beauty of shopping locally and shopping uh, family owned and operated for 20 years because we do not hire nobody but the best, anybody but the best, right, John? Well, <laughs> absolutely. I have, I, have John? A great, I have a great coaches really can help whoever wants to to achieve their goals. John has helped me for years with my nutrition. I'm on the All Max Plant Protein. I get you guys essential aminos, your branch chain aminos, your creatine. You know, John has walked with me through the years. We've both assisted each other in prepping for contest. Yes. So you've got two experienced people that know what they're talking about when people come in there. Yes. So, and 
important. Yeah, very, very important. And that's what we earlier, John and I, uh, about what can people can do at this time to, to, you know, with the immune system. And it's the very basic stuff, as we said, the vitamin C, the zinc, this and that. But also, uh, as Coach Philip was saying, the mental health. And uh, mm -hmm. if we start getting out and doing something and exercising and taking care of our body, that would really help with the, with the brain health and the mental health. It's a huge problem and people can just go back to either, either like overeating or drinking or drugs and, and this stuff really can hurt. Maybe two, one, two, three weeks and you stay home two months and you're addicted to something. You're addicted to food, you're addicted to alcohol. <laughs> so you really, people have to be really, really careful. Staying home and not making the right choices at this time, it could really have a long-term effect for their rest of their lives. Oh, absolutely, because they've got a regiment built at work, and it might be a pretty good regiment where they're eating a couple times a day, they're drinking enough water every day, but now that they're home and that regiment isn't there anymore, they're not eating as much as they should, they're not drinking enough water to stay hydrated. They're yeah. getting headaches, they're getting backaches, they're not feeling good because they're not living the regiment that they're supposed to. So, Roger, um, is there a best time to work out? I mean, in the morning, evening, a lot of people want to know, hey, you know, I got all this time. Is there a ideal time to work out? And if so, when? I think the ideal time for doing any kind of cardio, of course, in, in the morning when you first get out of bed. Uh, Roger was talking about cardio. We had some signal problems, but uh, fasted first thing in the morning. Uh, I did. Like this morning, That's... actually, I got up six o'clock. I put my, you know, change my, brush my teeth, and you know, did what I needed to do. Yep. And I'm telling you, two and a half miles walk, jog. It was. It felt good for the rest of the day. My heart rate, I sweat, and at least I got my cardio done for the day. For, and to me personally, I love working out early in the morning. I feel like I get overwhelmed, even if I'm tired the rest of the day. No guilt done, you know. Hey, I done it. It's really good. You're, you're over with. If you can afford to do more at night time, yeah, you're, yeah, that would be great. But to me, getting it over with in the morning, it's a, uh, it's been working great for me. Yep. If you want to do uh, high interval training, or some people, it's where they walk and then they run. So you're kind of going real hard, and then more of a moderate walk. Fasted, that's you can burn quite a bit of fat that way. Uh, doing doing cardio and you don't really have to do a lot of time you can start off with even 10 minutes in the morning 15 minutes in the morning so and then like roger said earlier build up you have to start somewhere uh there we go, it doesn't have to start with an hour you can you can start with 10 minutes and build your way up all right now i see it looks john, a little better this time. john to answer your question i think everyone has their own body clock okay, okay. myself personally i don't i don't like working out in the morning i don't get a good pump um, I'm, my mind is not really there first thing in the morning. Now I can do cardio in the morning, which is the best time. Like you said, John, you fasted all night. So you go walk Lake Hollingsworth as an example, or just around your block. Okay. And you're burning your own body fat for the most part, but you want to drink a little bit of water with some branch chain amino acids or something in it. You don't want any pre-workout in the morning when you do your cardio, because you want to be burning your own body fat. Okay. You want your metabolism, metabolism to raise on its own. Uh, a lot of people do recommend um, one cup of coffee. I don't because I want my metabolism on its own naturally to spike. I don't want the caffeine and the coffee to spike my metabolism for me. A lot of people, when they get to work, they say, you know, I can't get going unless I have my two cups of coffee. Well, that's because they've been drinking coffee so long, they've shut down their own metabolism. So they need that coffee to kick in their own metabolism. So I'm not a coffee drinker. I do pre walks pre-workouts in the afternoon because I've been up all day. So I needed that little bit of a kick. But uh, once again, I'm not a morning person unless it's before a contest and I'm working out twice a day like you, John. Yep. And, uh, but I'm more of an evening person. I can get a good pump. I can get a good workout. I finish working out, take a little bit of a break and I eat dinner. Okay. So there is no perfect time to work out. It depends on how you feel. I know my body don't work until the afternoon. My joints hurt. Um, and just everything else. I just, I can't do it until the afternoon. I got to get warmed up all day. Morning workouts are not good for me. I just, I just can't do it. But, um, you know, the turmeric and all that stuff is helping big time. I, Roger, Roger knows I'm, I'm always after work, uh, usually around 8.30. Uh, I can do cardio in the morning, but try to get me to do weights. And I'm probably out of there in about 10 minutes. Yes. It just, it's not long. Absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you what's helped me out the best in the afternoons. Is that um is the the rub you guys have the um 
What's that? CBD. Yeah, the CBD oil, the CBD cream. I put that on my elbows and shoulders, and I'm able to get a good workout in. I'm, it makes a huge difference. I live. I'm such a believer on that stuff. It makes such a difference in the pain of my elbows, like before legs. I put that CBD oil on my knees, or I'm not doing a set of legs. I got to do them. Man, that stuff is amazing. What it does, it's almost like it just warms everything up for you or something. I don't know, but I, that stuff's amazing. Yeah, I, I love that. It's a pharmaceutical grade. It's not just a normal CBD uh, cream. So that's why maybe it's effective. <laughs> Coach, it's, it's great, but it's it's a, what's that? Use double strength. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I put double dose of double strength. <laughs> <laughs> Doubles up. Yeah, milligrams do matter. Uh, I've heard some people say, oh, I tried CBD. It didn't work. Um, see, not all CBD is CBD. Uh, the milligram matters. Where you get it from matters. We have a team of doctors that have certified this stuff. Uh, it has real CBD. I've seen tons of reports where people are getting this stuff, and it's not even CBD. So they're just any company does anything. So that's another good thing about GNC. Trust me, it is not easy to get into GNC as a vendor. You can't just show up on the doorstep and show a product. You have to have a lot of proof and about what's in the product, and it's tested, lab tested, and retested. So, yes, yes, that's it. Yeah, I'll tell you the main thing. Come this way. I, I want to tell you the main thing that that I just live by. I love. I have my players eat these, and I'm gonna tell you right now, those right here. I knew you were West chips. Yeah, yeah. I, I, knew, I knew you were saying. You know what, I live by these. I'm going to tell you right now, that's right at nighttime when you're watching TV and you're bored, people like to nibble. People like to nibble on stuff. It's just it's just a habit. You're watching TV and people like to chew on something. That's this stuff's true. amazing. Low carb, high protein, gluten free. I'll eat a couple bags a night and it makes a huge difference, especially like when trying to lean out and don't mean cutting your food in half a lot dieting means what really watching what you eat and like roger was saying before if you have a plate full of food at dinner eat half of it put the other half away and eat it later don't eat it all in one sitting so eating four or five times a day smaller food higher quality food is so important right now especially with everybody sitting at home and getting weak and getting tired. And and sitting at home on your computer makes you tired. So this that's very important to do that kind of stuff. And then for my baseball players, they got to be doing amino acids. They got to be doing creatine. They got to be doing protein powder. Yep. Body, bodybuilding tears apart muscle and it, you grow. It makes it, it makes it compensate. When you're playing baseball, you're putting so much torque on your body, on your muscles, on your joints. You have to do something right. Amino acids are the building blocks. You got to have amino acids. You got to have protein. It will have injuries if you don't have this stuff. If you have this stuff, if you take the protein, you take the amino acids, it will make your baseball career or whatever sport career last longer for sure. I have no doubt about it. I've seen it for 17 years now. The guys that are really careful in their diet, they get their sleep, they're drinking water. Those are the guys that last a lot longer, unless it's just one of those God-given accidents that you can't control. Yep. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I think the amino acids and kind of just – amino acids are not even just for athletes. And I always – so a lot of people come in, and the biggest thing I've always seen is people think that they have to wait to take amino acids or let me get to work out first and before I take protein – or, you know, there's this myth that they can't start off taking this stuff, that it would be too much. Roger, why, why don't you speak to that? I mean, you've, you've probably got how many requests over the years to, to have somebody uh, train with you? <laughs> you know, and, you, and 20 years later, I've heard about the same thing. So what's, what's your experience and what do you recommend? I mean, it's, a lot of people are, they've never taken any of this stuff. Hey, before Roger answers that, you don't know how happy I am that he texts me. And said, hey, do you mind if I come train? Because all the gyms are shut down. And I got this home gym here with all this equipment. When he texts, he goes, hey, brother, you mind if I come train? Oh, heck yeah. I'll be picking your brain. I have learned so much in the last two weeks. And I mean, I've done weightlifting for 
what, 32 years. And, and, you know, I've done a lot of stuff and competed and stuff, but I have learned so much in the last two weeks. So everybody out there in GNC world and Legends world, listen to what he's about to tell you because he's amazing. Well, I don't know about amazing, but <laughs> I've just learned from experience. When you get on amino acids, you, they're the building blocks. You, you must take them if you want to go someplace and if you want any kind of longevity in, in any kind of sport or activity. It can be walking and you should be taking amino acids. Exactly. Okay, yep. you, you can be cutting your grass and you should take amino acids. They're the building blocks of what you need for your health. They're essential. You must take them. And we get a lot of amino acids out of our food. But the way the foods are um, grown today, we have to overgrow food because of the supply and demand. So you're not getting the essential vitamins and amino acids out of vegetables like we used to. Yep. So we've got to supplement our foods. So you go right to, to GNC and they've got a whole array of amino acids and branch chain amino acids. Now. You never really know how important something is until you stop doing it. And there was a period of time in the gym where I had run out of my branch chain amino acids and my essentials. And I noticed that my energy and my clarity, for some reason, I just was not connecting with my lifting routine. And I actually talked to John. I said, John, what do you guys got? He says, well, what are you taking? And he said, wait a minute, you're not taking any branch chains. I said, no, I ran out. He said, that's the answer. Get back on your branch chains and your, your essential amino acids. And within two days, I was back to normal. I had missed a building block in my lifting regimen. So amino acids are essential. If you want that next step up, and I'm not saying that they're the miracle cure, but it's something that we must have. God put amino acids in our food, and it's being taken out of our food by overgrowing. Okay? Yes. So we've got to supplement it, and GNC is a good place to go. Yeah. And on that, you know, it's kind of funny as people, you know, you talk about, like, there's so many supplements now that release growth hormones and stuff like that. And you take these supplements at night to release growth hormone. If you don't have hormones in your body, if your natural testosterone isn't going, if your growth hormones isn't going, you're not going to grow. You're not going to burn fat. You're not going to gain muscle. It's just not going to happen. You need the hormones to do it. And, you know, weightlifting increases that. Weightlifting releases testosterone. Weightlifting releases growth hormones. Growth hormones are building blocks of amino acids. That's what growth hormones are. So if you're not taking your amino acids and the proper type of amino acids, you're not going to release growth hormone in your body and you're going to store fat. You're going to start feeling older. Your skin's going to get older. It's just, it, it's very simple that way. So you really have to do that stuff. And you're much more susceptible to injury when you're not filling that foundation. You've got to have a good foundation before you can do any, any kind of activity. You can pull a muscle cutting your grass. Okay. Yeah. But as long as you're feeding yourself right and taking the right supplementation, you're going to be okay. I've pulled my back out reaching for a pillow before. <laughs> I've done partial deads with 400 pounds. I can, I can do all this kind of weight, lift all these weights, but I've reached for a pillow, pulled my back out, and was laid up for three days picking up a pillow. It's ridiculous. And it's just because your mind's not thinking, oh, I got to bend properly to pick it up like you would be when you're lifting weights. If, if people really think about it, most of your injuries don't come while you're training. Most of your injuries come because you're not warmed up, you're not ready, you do something silly at the house, you're doing overdoing something like today, I'm working on something in the yard because my honey-do list of five years is really caught up from all the baseball, and I'm trying to catch up this honey-do list at this home time, and I'm sore every day because I'm digging holes, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing stuff I'm not used to doing. My goodness, I have been very strict on the aminos, the proteins over these last few weeks because I know I'm doing stuff my body's not used to. And I'm also stretching this stuff before I start, because if not, that's where you get injured. You take a weekend, you're out on a Saturday, you go dig a hole, you're trying to fill something in the yard. Sunday, you can't wake up, you can't get out of bed and go to church because you're too, in too much pain. And it's because you didn't think about it. Now, you can lift weights all day. I got this set coming up. You get your belt on, you get your knee wraps on, you're doing a set of squats, you're doing 500 pounds on squats, and you're fine. But now you just dug one hole and you're laid up for three days because you're not used to those movements. And it, it happens to everybody, and especially right now with people sitting at home on their computer and not getting out, not working, and not doing stuff, when you go out and do stuff, you're going to be sore. Amino acids help take away those pains. That's awesome. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You're welcome. Yeah, appreciate it. And we just want to say that GNC is open. We are essential. We uh, do curbside, and uh, we are having great coaches here to help you yeah, guys. Yeah, it's good to good to see you guys out there. Uh, good to see you, Coach and, and Roger. Um, yeah, I miss I miss seeing you, you guys in the gym. Yes, but, uh, I know, John. 
It's crazy. Know. And our baseball is going. Our, we got our kids training every day. They got certain things they have to do. We have them working the tee work. We have them long tossing. Uh, my son, Coach Trevin, is teaching them footwork drills. So if you guys go to Lakeland Legends on Facebook and like our page, we're doing a podcast every day That's teaching awesome. different things. Myself and Roger, like I said, you got a pro-level bodybuilder right here that's teaching you guys stuff. And I've been doing baseball for 45 years. We are doing a lot of stuff. We're teaching baseball specific drills. We're teaching weight training specific drills. And we're teaching just stuff that the average person can do in their garage, in their yard to try to get through this time to get some kind of mental clarity and stop being so depressed. Awesome. That's awesome. Absolutely. Well, I wanted to thank everybody out there. I want to thank the health, healthcare worker. Everybody's out there helping All the, the first responders, responders, police officers, police officers, police officers, officers nurses, grocery stores, everyone. Thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you. GNC is here to help. We'll give ten percent to all these people who are like in the front uh, line and and going in the fire every day, fighting for us and supporting all the sick people. So please visit one of our locations and come and get that discount ten percent of all our immune system product. We're here to help. Even if you can get out of your house, I will deliver it personally to you. Just give us she a will. call. I will. I she, did it before. She, she I did. <laughs> so give us a call <laughs> and I will take care of you. If you can get out of the house, we're here for you. So we really appreciate We appreciate you, Coach, a lot. We appreciate your players. You've always been a great support of GNC. Uh, we cannot, you know, and supporting the local business. Yeah, you know, we really appreciate that. Really, really appreciate it. We appreciate you guys. I, I God mean, bless. I send my stuff to my players and say I, I make requirements where they have to get certain things because I know it's important. So I tell them they got to come and get you guys stuff. And last thing I got for everybody is just, guys, pray for the country right now. We got to get better. Yes. Pray for the country right now. And everybody, I don't care what you think of Trump, whether you like him or not, just pray for the leaders because if he fails, we fail. And, you know, it, it's not about politics anymore. It's about praying for this country and doing what's right. And just trying to help everybody out. If your neighbors need help, help them. Um, you know, a lot of people are really down and depressed. And, you know, if you see your neighbor out sad or whatever, just, you know, wave at them or just ask them if they need anything. You know, my neighbor the other day yelled out to us. We hadn't talked to her in a while. She asked us how we were doing on toilet paper. And I was like, I was just shocked by that. I was like, how impressive is that, that they're just yelling out? And and, and we had a, one of our neighbors walking around the neighborhood just writing stuff on the, on the on the driveways, happy Easter, God bless, stuff like that. Just a little momentum, just a little something to help you through all this. It's very important right now. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys soon. And I'll, you know, I'll tune in when you're in and I'll do some of your workout. Okay. All <laughs> right, sounds good. Thanks, guys. See you, John.